Hey, it's Martin Garrix. And I'm Mike Yev. And this is how he went down creating Arson Dreamer. I saw a video of him performing. I think the whole world saw, the, saw that video. It just instantly gave me goosebumps. If you turn on the radio nowadays, you don't hear a voice like, like his anymore. And I miss those voices in music. And long story short, reached out to him. Uh, we met in New York. We connected. They said Martin Garrix. And my kids were nuts. But he's an ordinary guy. It's like I've been knowing him for years. So we clicked, you know what I mean? And it was fun, because we were so different with the music that we make, the music that we listen to. And what actually surprised me, we had so many things in common. I can't work on, on a song if I don't connect with someone. And we met in New York, and I was like, okay, let's go to Amsterdam. That was fly. <laughs> on my way to Amsterdam. Mike has been to Amsterdam two times. And the first time, we went on a boat um, in the canals of Amsterdam and we actually brought a guitar and okay. just started talking and one thing led to another, we started jamming and we didn't have lyrics yet, we were just humming melodies. Yeah. And then the second time we actually had a song and I remember we went under a bridge because in Amsterdam you got the nice small canals and we went under a bridge and Mike went full voice and I just had goosebumps everywhere and everybody from the camera team, from my management, everybody just looked at each other like, oh my God, is this, this is insane, this is crazy and then we got out of the bridge and then everybody on the sides of the canals that were working there, walking there, they, were, they just turned around. They're like, what was happening? And Mike kept on singing, so people just started filming. It was really, it was a beautiful sunny day. And it didn't feel like real life. It's like, what is happening right now? For me, my favorite lyric is the, it's the first one. It's, I'm a dreamer, don't tell me not to dream. I feel like we're all dreamers and you should not be limited by anyone. Let your dreams be as crazy as they can get and let no one tell you not to dream. If I didn't dream, I would not be making music. If Mike didn't dream, we would have not been yeah. here. You know, you never know what the next person sees, you know what I mean? Because of all the artists that he could have worked with, he chose me. The whole song, the whole idea behind the music that we were making the trip was that we wanted to inspire people, we wanted to give people hope, give people that extra push of motivation. Everybody's got a dream. So for us, we wanted to, to make a song for those people. See, all I do is sing. So once he gave me a melody, gave me the words, he said, it's gonna be simply amazing. He said, wait till I put the drop. <laughs> I don't know what the drop is, but I, I waited, you know? And then he called me again and said, I'm gonna add a gospel choir. <laughs> it was me on the guitar, Mike freestyling, and the gospel choir in the back, and it was just very magical. The whole process didn't feel like working at all, and it, it was fun. That's what making music is all about. For me, the whole soul and, and, and his, his, his genre, his voice was uncharted territory for me. I got a little power. That's the magic. <laughs> Magic man. Nah, that's the magic. <laughs> magic. I'm telling you, this is magic. This guy is magic. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs>